So you wanna get a POV shot or point of view shot with your GoPro? Well, there are a bunch of mounts to choose from. So today I wanna to rate the top POV mount types on convenience and price and see which is best. Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way and weekly GoPro videos. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure, you know, don't be a stranger, click that button right there. And I'll put links to everything that we're talking about today down in the description, plus a surprise link. All right, so the first one we're gonna talk about is the classic chest harness. It's a bit awkward to put on too. What the heck am I doing here? Now, if you want something quick and easy, I mean, I don't really recommend this one for that, but it is definitely the most secure and most awkward to wear. And also this is perfect if you're someone that's doing a lot of big action stuff, like if you're skydiving, if you're doing motocross, if your GoPro is gonna be bouncing around a lot, you're gonna want this on and want it on tight because this is gonna be the most secure mount for that shot. And this only comes in around $16 right now, so it's not a terrible price, it just, it just looks a bit awkward on, on me, maybe. All right, so the next one on the list is the head strap mount. It's much easier to put this thing on your head, and it does give you a really good POV shot, especially because it follows your head motions too, giving you a more accurate POV. The downfalls of this is that it's not super comfortable on your head, and also, if you do move, it can kind of slide down a little bit and be a little bit wobbly, but it only is priced out at $11. Now, I mean, you can put like a backwards hat on, and I think that makes it a lot more comfortable and a little bit more stable as well. All right, so now we come to the mouth mounts. This is a really good one because, I mean, all you do is put it in your mouth, bite down, and you can get really solid, like POV shots. You can also flip it upside down so that the camera's not in your face. And that way you can kind of take it off, you can talk to the camera if you want, then you can. The only downfalls of this is, you know, it's gross because it's in your mouth. And, uh, you know, maybe you don't have a good, good gag reflex or you don't want to hold it in your mouth too long. That could be very uncomfortable. However, you'll see a lot of surfers using something like this because you're in the water already. It's kind of rinsing it out, so it's not so bad. And something like this comes in around $19. Not a bad price and probably one of the easiest ones on this list. Now, I wanna make a quick mention to a full face mask mount because there's a lot of moto vloggers out there that use the GoPro. It fits really easy around this part of the face mask. So it just goes like this, it gets a really good shot, plus you can turn your head, and it doesn't like hit your mouth or anything, it's not uncomfortable to have on. Any of those moto vlogging videos you've seen, yeah, they're using something like this. All right, so the next one I'll tell you about is the snap mount. This is a really cool little invention, and what you do is you screw your GoPro onto this part right here that's a magnet, a very strong magnet, and when you close it, it's nice because you can still see the screen and everything, and then you wear this part right here, and you can even tuck this in under your shirt, and then when you're ready, you just go, and the GoPro just sits nicely right there, a really good POV shot. It doesn't move around too much, especially when it's connected through the shirt. Now, this does come in around $40, so it's not the cheapest one on this list. But one thing that's really cool about the snap mount is that they have some other mount accessories so you can go from your chest strap to like a mount like this or any kind of mount that pops on anything. So it's just a really quick and easy way to switch from one mount to the next. So that's a really cool thing for using snap mount. Now, if you're someone that wears a backpack a lot on your videos, this is another really good option. This is the Telesyn backpack clamp mount. It clips on nice and easily and securely because it's got these really nice metal teeth right there. You pop it on there and what separates this from some of the other ones is that there's a little ball head adjustment so you can move it around. A lot of other mounts, it's really kind of hard to like adjust to get exactly how you want. And also it sticks out a little bit so you can kind of see your shot too. So you can frame it up. And it's nice because you can just take it off really easily and quickly. You can talk to the camera if you want and then you can clip it back on. And it's also magnetic on the back so you can pop it on anything metal as well. And this mount comes in around $20. Now if you're someone that wants something a little bit more secure on there, this is a really good one and it only comes in around $13. And it's basically Velcro. You kind of attach it to your strap and you Velcro it down and you can kind of adjust it up and down and make it a little bit tighter if you want. And because it's a regular GoPro kind of mount, you can adjust the tilt up and down to your liking. And lastly, I can say wholeheartedly that this is my favorite. This is a must have GoPro accessory. Something I've mentioned many times on this channel before, but I use this a lot. This is a great POV shot that you just get on really quickly. 
put it on like that. It's like a necklace and it holds down. It sticks out a little bit so you can make sure it's recording and then you can adjust it easily like that. And this like silicone bendy feeling thing is really nice on your neck. It feels comfortable. So you don't mind wearing it because it just works so good. It's so quick to set up and the shots from it are really good. And this GoPro necklace comes in around $28. But if you're doing anything hands-free and you just wanna show your hands in the shot, I definitely recommend this GoPro necklace as the best one on the list. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful if you are looking for that perfect POV shot in your videos. Well, make sure you check out the links in the description. Other than that, stay tuned for more GoPro content, tips and tricks, and I'll see you next time. Mr. Blank. Can we call you Uncle Blanky? No.